Hey there, everybody, and welcome to Sweet Talk with Ben. On today's Sweet Talk, we're going to be looking at how to easily create custom schedule templates directly from Construction Suite, directly from the schedules that you're currently working on with your projects. We'll go ahead and go to the scheduling portion of Construction Suite here. Now, you can go ahead and create a new schedule template directly from a blank schedule. So, say you open up a blank schedule, go ahead and create that new framework. You can save that as a template as well. But what I always suggest in order to help you be more efficient and save even more time is just to create a template from a schedule that you've currently been working on. So we'll go ahead and open up this Lot 57 Baldwin Park that we have used here. One that we've been running with uh, for a little while now. You'll see here that we have percentage complete. We have resources assigned. We have predecessor relationships, durations. All this information is here uh, for this project. We'll see here that it started on February 3rd of 2014. Well now, the project's completed, we've already knocked this out, now we're going to use this same framework to create a new schedule template, a schedule template that we would be able to use for future projects, uh, one that we can base other jobs off of. That way we don't have to go back through and recreate this large framework again. Doing so is extremely easy. We're just going to go to the File tab up in the ribbon here select save as and when we're prompted with the save as window by default we'll see the projects folders however this time we want to make sure that we're saving it specifically as a template so we're going to expand the templates folder here go to scheduling and here you can choose where you would like to place this uh, new schedule template for instance this is actually just going to be a residential home so we're going to place the template in the residential folder just to help us keep everything on track and keep everything there um, exactly where it needs to be. Now you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and put in a different name uh, for this. So we're just going to say new res template. We'll click OK. And now we're prompted with the ability to clear out any existing data in this current schedule that we don't want to appear in the, any projects in the future. Uh, say, for instance, if you know that in the future you may be using different uh, resources or you may be using different uh, subcontractors even, whoever you assign to complete these tasks. So we we'll want to make sure that we remove the current resources in this schedule. We can also go ahead and remove the percent complete. Any notes that were relevant to this individual project as well as any esti estimate information. Now again, like I said, um, you want to you know, make sure that you are keeping track of or paying attention to this one aspect specifically because with this portion of uh, the template, you know, creating this template within your schedule, it's really going to help you uh, really kind of streamline this entire process and help you out with the scheduling to come in the future. Um, for instance, now we'll go ahead and click OK here and I'll show you exactly what this did. So you see that since we selected to clear out those existing um, that existing data there, it actually went ahead and zeroed out all of our percentages. It's also gone ahead and cleared out our resources while still maintaining the duration of the predecessors uh, from that original schedule. We'll notice here that we are now currently editing this new residential template like we had um, said we were going to do here. And so we've cleared out all of this, all the specific project information that was relevant to the Lot 57 Baldwin Park uh, for us to be able to maintain the same framework to use for other projects in the future from here on out. From this point, we'll just go ahead and make sure we save the template again just by clicking Save. We'll close out of it. And now if we were to go to Launch the Schedule Wizard, we'll see now that we can actually go ahead and select that new template that we just created as the template to base our schedule off of. So we'll select it through the drop down there, click finish, and now we'll notice that we have indeed created this new schedule here. Um, it's going to be starting on the exact same date as today, June 27th here, and we have that same framework as before. Well, that concludes today's Sweet Talk video. If you enjoyed what you saw, I encourage you to take a look at the other videos that we have available to you as well. As always, I'm Ben. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day.